Hey Butterflies, welcome back. So today we're going to be showcasing Hope Michelson in The Vampire Origins on Roblox. So we are joined here by Angel of course, and let's get into the video. So she spawns in with 450 health, 2000 magic and 500 energy. And she spawns in as a werewitch, half werewolf, half witch. And this is like mine and Angel's favorite outfit of her. She has like another four or five. But this one's really cute and she costs 1600 robux which i definitely think is worth it and she comes with lots of like of her own spells and keybinds so let's get into her werewolf keybinds first so basically obviously x is like what Haley has as well which is like the claws so basically when you press x you bring out your claw form on your hands and if you press x again then you will like turn your hands to human hands again but if you click X and then basically just click your target while you have your claws on, then you'll basically scratch them and it'll be like this blue energy. And basically you will inject wolf venom into them. So if they're a vampire, they will like start, you know, dying slowly unless they're healed. Then N is slide. So basically it's, it's, it's just for show, I guess, but it's a really cool ability. It does make you go faster sometimes. Q is neck snap and the animation only looks like this when she's a werewolf, which, which looks really cool. And she also has a lot of her own little voice lines. E is bite, so you'll basically just inject wolf venom into your target. G is heal, which obviously all like anyone with a vampire side has. I don't know why she has that. Might maybe a bug. Then F um, is combat, which is just punch or kick. And then getting onto her witch keybinds, she obviously has owl, which is also wolf hearing. So it's projectile, which shoots the random element orb. But then if you hold it, there'll be like an ear symbol, I guess, which is basically Hope's hearing ability to see where everyone is around you. And she has a little voice line with it. She says, you can run, but you can't hide, I think. And yeah, and then you can see like where Sybil is with the little ear thing. And then we have you, which is witch snap. And I'm pretty sure you can snap normal free witches as Hope, I'm not sure. And then... K is um, her like death spell so by holding K on someone she'll basically start saying the death spell and choke them to death and they do have able to they do have like I don't know how you say it like they can run away basically and if they go out of your sight then you won't be able to do it anymore B is her head decapitation which she just did to her head and then there's a cute little that. voice line cool. and it will instantly kill them and as you can see it looks pretty creepy like their head literally falls off the shoulders then B is her repulse ability, which does a little bit of damage and knockback and keeps your target on the ground for quite a while. In fact, everyone around you. And then Y is like scream, hopes scream, and it will scream and basically like everyone around you will be affected, not just the people in front of you as you can see. And this does quite a lot of damage and also keeps your target on the ground for a while. And she has like a little scream sound effect voice line. And then getting on to her vampire keybinds, we obviously first have to transition into a tribrid. So to do so, you basically spawn in with two lives as hope. And when you die, you don't need blood in your system or anything. If you die or reset, it will say you have died, but you were born a tribrid and now are in transition. And after a while, you'll basically wake up and then you'll have to go and either feed on a blood bag or on someone. You can see the timer and it says transitioning tribrid. If you do not feed in time, then you will obviously die. But as you can see, when you feed on someone, like the whole map goes red there and there's like, no monster like thunder, me. and it says the tribrid is born, and she'll say there is no monster like me. Um, so it's quite dramatic, but it is really cool to like announce to the whole map that she's transitioned into the tribrid, which obviously did happen in the show. But yeah, let's get onto her vampire keybinds, and as you can see, she spawns also now with 400 thirst. So Q is still witch snap, but it look or well not witch snap, sorry, neck snap, but it looks different now. Um, left control is spine break, you'll basically just rip the spine out of your target. And then V is eyes, but she doesn't have her vampire face yet, unfortunately, um, which is weird, but yeah. Then um, U is witch snap, but it's also now like arm break, so sometimes the keybinds will overlap each other and both do something. P is dash or blink and Sybil also has it and other characters that have vampire sides. 
And then two is eye press, so basically just press the target's eyes in and do quite a lot of damage to them. And then N is slide, like I said before, but it's also compel. So sometimes you'll like slide and then compel the person, but obviously you can't compel Sybil. But she is able to compel people, or people with the vampire side. And then R is heart rip, and then you'll just rip the heart out of the target. And then by clicking the screen, you can basically eat the heart and you'll get like a lot of blood. And then K is basically her choke spell, but I'm pretty sure it's also her like vampire choke where you hold him by the neck, I'm not sure. And then getting on to Hope's custom spells, first up we have Aqualia, and this basically also has a cute little voice line. And she'll basically like shoot a stream of water to the target and we'll just push them back and literally do no damage, but I guess it's just to like, I don't know, get someone away from you. So it looks like that, pretty cool, and you can move while doing it. And then we have this spell which basically like traps your target in vines, making them unable to move, and she also has a voice line for that. And then next we have the heart rip spell, which obviously you can't rip Sybil, but she is able to use Dolphin Ears and Core. Then she has Fluxus Impulsa, and this is basically just like an impulse spell that you do on one target, not on everyone around you. And it also does quite a lot of damage. Then Gustas is basically like, she just, I don't know, some- But yeah, you can only use that on them too. But that'll be it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. And check the description box below for all my links and links to this game, and including my Discord server. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!